Welcome back pipers. Uh, if you have not packed your pipe and got your beverage ready, go do that now so you can sit down and enjoy a pipe with me. See you in a bit. Smokers Haven, my friends. Good to see everyone again. Got my church warden filled with the Wilshire blend from my local Hinderbox store. Uh, that's a franchise, so they might be pretty much spread out throughout the United States. I'm not quite sure. I know they are all over the Midwest. Um, so if you have one near you, definitely want to get some Wilshire. Because it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Not vanilla. This is my Tree of Gondor pipe. I don't know how well you can see that. My wife actually bought me this. I, I might have said it was my children. My children haven't... <laughs> They haven't gone in for a pipe for their dad yet, but that's okay. They still love me. The wife, she knows what I like. And... Mm. So I hope everyone had a wonderful day today. It is cold here in the upper Midwest. Wind is blowing, gusting. Uh, I want to talk about uh, something that I brought up in a previous video, and I've, I've found some other videos talking about it. And that is the entire preparation part of this hobby. So everybody who is in the community, they understand exactly what I'm talking about. The whole preparation aspect of the hobby, picking out your pipe, picking out what tobacco you want to smoke. That's why as you collect more pipes and you acquire more tobacco, it just becomes more enjoyable because you have more... <laughs> more options, okay, to choose from. Uh, I understand there's a lot of people out there who let's just say cigarette smokers, people who've been smoking cigarettes for years. That's pretty much the opposite of what we're dealing with here as with becoming Joining the pipe smoking community, okay? If you smoke cigarettes, yeah, you just, you go out and uh, you get your nicotine and uh, you're back in. It's not about the preparation. It's not about choosing a pipe, the tobacco, what you're going to drink with it, anything like that. So a lot of cigarette smokers or most cigarette smokers, they don't really, uh, they don't, really understand, you know, this whole aspect of it. And there might be a lot of people who have been smoking cigarettes for years that might not appeal to them at first, even if they think they want to, you know, get into pipe smoking. That's just too foreign to them, okay, for what they've been doing for years. So if you are in that group, if you're one of them people, you need to continue to Try the hobby because I, I guarantee you that will change. Okay, that will that will change. 
But it is, I mean, that's something that people, you don't really hear much about is when you're talking about going from cigarette smoking to pipe smoking is just the, the difference, the differences. Um, I've never smoked cigarettes, so... I think that's why I took to it so good, so well, because I wasn't, I've never been one to, you know, ha having to go out and get that nicotine hit and, you know, crave that nicotine. So, I enjoy the, the entire uh, aroma, flavor of the different aromatics aspect of being a pipe smoker. So... I think it is probably harder for people who have smoked cigarettes, you know, for a, a majority period of their life or even, you know, say five years even to transition to smoking a pipe because it's just too different. But they'll go to vaping. A lot of people, they want to get off of the addiction, nicotine addiction. So they go to vaping. Well, guess what? You're not getting off the nicotine because you're getting nicotine. It's just a different form. But what's crazy to me is a lot of these people, they what they enjoy about the vaping is they get the nicotine, which you will get in pipe smoking. It's just not to the equivalency of smoking a cigarette or a vape. But uh, they enjoy the different flavors of the vapes, different juices. Well, that just doesn't, that, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because... You could transition just as easy from going to a vape to a pipe, if not easier. For us pipe smokers, I'm kind of preaching to the choir a lot, but for us pipe smokers, that's one of the biggest attractions to joining this hobby, becoming a part of this community. Picking out your pipe. Picking out the tobacco you want to smoke. It's great. I mean, there's no other way to, no other word really to describe it. So it's probably about eh, five degrees outside. Blustery. Wind's just blowing. It's probably maybe 10 degrees cooler in the garage, maybe. It's pretty chilly, but this thing is super warm. Got my scarf on. My hands will probably get cold before anything else. But uh, the wife is tearing down our Christmas tree as we speak, as I make this video. So I'll be hauling all that down to where we store it all. As soon as I'm done doing this video. Uh, so I didn't get that tobacco that I was expecting because I thought I ordered it, but it's in my cart. I went and checked and I must have got uh, distracted and had to leave. So I... I waited because if I do end up going to a brick and mortar this weekend, I'm going to want to buy something there. So I'll just do that. Yeah, you know, I love smoking this church warden and it smokes so good. Look at that. Look at that ember in there. Just So again, I'd like to like to thank everybody who has been watching my videos, and uh, thank all of you who have subscribed. It's been very encouraging. Uh, I've been actually finding new pipe smoking channels the last couple of days. That's encouraging. I didn't start this this channel is strictly to promote the hobby. I did not start a channel on YouTube to try to 
you know, see how many subscribers I can get or mon get monetized. They're pretty much demonetized, uh, the white TPZ, uh, the pipe home community. No, you don't. So if you want to start a channel, just, just make sure it's just basically to promote the hobby. Um, it's fun. I mean, it, you don't really need any other reason. At least I don't. So. I need, I need some input on a few things. I not only want to promote the, the hobby, I also, myself, only being a pipe smoker for a little over two years. I need input. I don't, there's, there's a lot of things that I still need to learn. Things I don't know about the hobby. So yes, I need, you know, all the comments, all the, any information that any of you think will add to, you know, our conversation per video. Please put it, you know, comment, comment away. Everyone is welcome in my channel. I mean, everyone. Yeah, it's, uh, I also, I want to pretty much save this, this topic for a different, whole different video. But I brought up also about smoking in public. I'll dedicate just one video for that. But I definitely want to hear people's comments about that. You know, your experiences. A lot of you pipe smokers have been doing this for quite a while. And uh, take your pipe with you, which I do. Uh, I don't quite get to smoke it out in public as much as I would like, but I do do it depending on the situation. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to hear other people's stories, experiences, and not just that with any topic. Pretty encouraging that I can be out here tonight because I doubt we're going to have much harsher uh, harsher temperatures than what we're having right now or if, now that I said that I mean that was pretty stupid wasn't it I'm going to also invest since it's not much much of an investment on a mount for my car because I do like to light up my pipe on some some days right after work on my way home I got a fairly short drive about I don't know 10 minutes maybe tops so maybe we can just I can just do a little light up chat on my way home type of video I told you folks, I'm going to try to put out as much content as I can. I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I also, I'm going to, I already put something on the page. The pipe smoking, pipe smokers haven page on Facebook about meetups. And I don't know how many, you know, I might be fortunate enough as I gain at least views, if not subscribers. People who live within the, you know, 200, not even 200 mile, 150 mile radius. Because I live within, I don't know, 120 miles of Chicago. So 
people who might be interested in meeting up at, you know, one of the brick and mortars or cigar lounges, whatever, in the area. I'm all for that. If there's even an opportunity where we can plan far enough ahead, I could travel quite a ways if we could get a big enough group of people that are in the pipe smoking community, okay? Either people that partake on this channel, other channels, meetups, they look like a, a great time. Great time. Only thing is, a few that I watch, it's like they don't really take a whole lot of time listening to what people have to say. It seems like they just say, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I went to a meetup, I met such and such. And that's it. I mean, people would love to see that, you know, the whole entire experience. And no, nope, you don't really see that. Doesn't make much sense to me, actually. <laughs> you know, how some of these guys are driving hours and hours just to say, yeah, we had a meetup. Here's a couple pictures. not exactly how I would do it, but so I'm still stick I'm gonna stick with the green screen. The the first one, the trial, yeah, it was okay, but I'm still getting my feet wet again. There's just certain things that you have to do and I mean it, it takes it takes time to it's gonna take time for me to get all the bugs back out of it again. Figure it out, but I'll get it. Oh, yeah, this stuff. Ain't no relighting this stuff. This stuff just burns. By the way, you know, what opinions, what things I say on the channel don't necessarily mean that they're going to, you're going to feel the same way. Um, just like I said, with smoking some of these wetter tobaccos, you might want to dry it. Uh, a lot of newer pipe, pipe smokers. Lighting my pipe don't bother me. You know, I mean, it's, it's that's part of pipe smoking. That's one of the reasons why I do it, because it's... Smoking a pipe, it just slows you down. It's It just, it slows everything down. But there's some people, they want to get it lit and they want it to burn all the way to the bottom. They don't want to continue, you know, have to relight and all that. I don't care. <laughs> That's why smoking wet tobacco don't bother me. But, yeah, if you get some and you think, wow, this stuff is wet. Dry it out for an hour. Lay some out. You know, I mean, whatever you want to do. A lot of guys will just take the whole thing and lay it out on a bar and dry it all out. Some some people just dry out what they're going to smoke and smoke it. I'm just saying if you pack it loose enough, you yeah, you'll probably have to light it a few, you know, relight, but... I just think the flavor is better. That's just my opinion. Also, if you're going to pick up this hobby, you're going to collect, like I said, you're going to start collecting pipes and you have to buy a church ward, just at least one. So you can, because they smoke so much different. And you do not get the, the gurgling and all that as you do with some of the shorter pipes. And you will definitely develop a niche, something that you know you you won't like certain pipes. You just the way, the way they look, the way they feel in your mouth. Um, that's just how people are. They like certain things. 
Me personally, I really do like the bent billiards probably more than the straight billiards. Even though you'll probably see me smoke my, my Grand Duke a lot, which is a straight billiard. But that has a deep bowl in it. And I generally like to, if I'm going to sit down and smoke, I, I want to be, you know, I want to do it for 45 minutes to an hour. So, I don't know how some of these guys, they get those Missouri mirrors shut them like Grand Wizards. The, the bowls are like that tall. I could, I don't know how they do that, but it's, yeah. Another thing for everyone who's thinking about starting up this wonderful hobby. Be selective. You, you, you want to watch a lot of videos, okay, when it comes to selecting your first few tobaccos. Because there are some that are notorious for tongue bite. And if you get really bad tongue bite... You're probably not going to enjoy your first one, and you probably won't. It'll turn you off on this hobby. Maybe not permanently, but if you pick the right tobacco, it can be smooth sailing from the go. And that's another reason why it is important. Not pack your pipe too tight with aromatics because you will get bit. Because the bowl's going to going to get hot. There's going to be a lot of steam, hot steam, making it to your mouth. And the fact that you're going to have a harder draw, you're going to get more moisture in there. You don't want that. But that's why pipe smoking teaches you to slow down. Trust me, folks, I won't ever steer you wrong. I mean by how wonderful this hobby is. But you will have to have an understanding wife. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, too, if you and your wife, if you and your spouse both smoke cigarettes, And you can convert from cigarettes to pipe smoking. She will love you till the day. She's going to love you till the day you die anyways. But she will definitely love you till the day you die. Because you will not be spending as much money a month on cigarette tobacco. Because on cigarettes. Because this is way cheaper. Way cheaper. That's the huge benefit. Smoking pipe tobacco over cigarettes. Shit, I don't even know how much a carton of cigarettes is now, but it's probably damn near as much as what a, you can get a nice pipe for. Think about that. It's, man, this stuff is so good. I, I haven't smoked it in quite a while. And I don't know why, because this is just a beautiful burn. There. Wilshire from Tinderbox. You can order it online, too. You don't need to have a, a store near you. You will not be disappointed. But most aromatic smokers have already tried Lane 1Q, and it's I'm thinking it's, I've had Lane One Q. It was toward the beginning of my pipe smoking journey, but I remember it. And I would say this is probably a little better than that. But it's just your basic Burley blend. Um, I think, well, Burley and Black Cavendish. And my dog is out barking. And my wife, I hope she lets him in because otherwise I'm going to have to do it because he will not stop. It's cold out. No, we do not abuse our dog.
He's probably busy doing something. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so satisfying. So I'm, uh, I don't know how many of you checked out one of those waste pouches that I showed you the other day. You should, it's, it's worth the money. They're not that expensive and, uh, I think everybody needs something like that. Especially if you're a pipe smoker. Plus it pretty much tells everybody, you know, if you keep that pipe stick, you know, put it in that front little pouch there people it's a conversation piece I'll tell you that when I do make my video about smoking in public that's one thing I will will discuss is just the fact that people are intrigued just because once something is kind of gone, something that used to be very popular, and now it just kind of faded quietly into the night. But then people see someone doing it again. It creates conversation. And people are intrigued. That's probably the biggest, most, most common thing you're going to see. If you're smoking your pipe in public, you know, and you're not, I'm not saying, you know, you're around a group of 10 people and you light up and you're just sitting quietly by yourself on a bench, whatever. And people just walk by and say, man, that smells amazing. Now, yeah, they might not go out and buy a pipe, but. Guess what? You made an impact on their day, didn't you? They might have been thinking about something they didn't really want to think about. But you took their attention away from them for you know, maybe a couple minutes. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll think, man, that is that's something I might want to try. You just, it depends on the person. Well, that bowl's about gone. And I should probably help her get things put away. So, it was great sitting down, having a pipe with you again. Uh, remember, I hope everyone, if you find the channel, like and subscribe. Become a part of the pipe smoking family, if you're not already. Everybody have a terrific rest of your night. Light them up.